All right, guys, we are at Lone Star Throwdown 2022. My name is Robbie Purser, and I'm with United by Trucks, and I'm here with our Farm Fresh 68 GMC Teddy that we actually just got finished bagging and redoing the cooling system and actually putting this front clip on it because we wrecked the truck not too long ago. So I'm from Marietta, Georgia, and we left yesterday morning, today's Friday. We left Thursday morning and drove with a convoy of trucks all the way from Marietta, Georgia to here in Teddy. And I'm super proud to be running these Detroit Steel Wheel D-Town smoothies in a 20 by eight up front, 20 by nine in the rear with Continental tires. Just a, a super clean setup, I think. And I'm really proud to be working with Detroit Steel Wheels on our specific trucks. I think it's the best change we made to this truck because, well, I get so many questions on the wheels. And I think the vintage white powder that y'all do really makes the paint pop or vice versa you know so i like the uh i like the look and i i'd even contemplated getting them powdered silver and i'm glad we stuck with white because it really does make it pop the reason we had to redo the front end is because a buddy of mine rocky whom you, you see on the channel uh, he helps me keep trucks going you know i can't drive them all so he had it and was uh, actually putting vent windows in it because this truck, we really do just drive it everywhere. He was giving a little bit of love at home and driving it back to the shop and actually rear-ended a guy uh, who had a utility trailer. If you can walk with me here, it basically caved in all the core support, dented the hood up real good, crinkled the fender. Yeah, with a tear rolling down my face. But what we ended up doing was basically just putting it out to the, to the truck community and saying, hey, instead of fixing this, trying to fix this sheet metal or going back with aftermarket sheet metal and, and patina blending, I wanna see if I can find a 68 503 light green front clip. And we ended up finding one in Vancouver, BC. I live in Georgia, so that's literally all the way across the country. We had a road trip out to Idaho, went and did that road trip and the guys brought it down the front clip. We brought it home and put it on the truck. So on our YouTube channel, United by Trucks, you can go and see us basically rebuild this entire thing. So not only did we do the front end swap, essentially, we just swapped all the sheet metal, but we bagged it. We put a bunch of React suspension, tubular components all the way front to back. Uh, we did a whole new cooling system. We ran air management, obviously, because we didn't, we weren't bagged before. It was just a five, seven drop. So quite a bit of an overhaul on this truck. If you know our channel or know anything about what we do, we basically try to take these trucks, original paint type trucks, and just make them cooler. We'll update the suspension, we'll update the wheels and tires, update the drivetrain. We built a blazer, put some Del Rays on it, a square body blazer, two wheel drive. We're refurbing this truck, kind of in that process now. We're gonna do a few more things to it, but I've got a 59 uh, short bed Apache that we're gonna be working on really soon. It's all original paint. That's the reason I was in Idaho. We have got a square body crew cab K30 that we're working on. We've also got a Wagoneer that's got some Detroit steel wheel details on it. So we're, we've kind of got quite a few things going and we we just, I, I just love the look of, of Detroit steel wheel products and they, they go so well with our style. We put out a couple of videos on it. I've still got one or two more that I'm gonna put out, but if you wanna know more about this truck, just come over to United by Trucks YouTube channel or you can catch us on Instagram or Facebook at United by Trucks.